Welcome to Old School Mastery, the go-to place for old school men to make gains. Got a special video for you guys today. I got the whiteboard out again, so you know it's gonna be good. Keep watching, because today's discussion is on exercise rotation. All right, now, what is it? Why do we need it? How often should we do it? And a sample of how it's done. Now, first things first, what is exercise rotation? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's rotating through exercises in a cyclical manner. All right. Now, I know what you're asking. Uh, you're saying, well, shouldn't we stick to certain exercises for a long time and get really strong at those exercises? Yes. However, there's a way to do it by rotating through different exercises. So keep watching because I'm going to explain that today. Now, why should we rotate our exercises? The first reason and the most important reason, I think, is to avoid overuse injuries. Now, what is an overuse injury? It's basically when you're doing the same movement pattern for a long time, and as a result, the muscles and joints and ligaments associated with that movement start to wear out, they start to run into a lot of problems, and, and yeah, that's an overuse injury, all right? The second reason you wanna rotate your exercises is to avoid plateaus. Now, when you're doing the same exercise for a long time, it can kind of become stagnant. When you first do an exercise, the progress might shoot up, but after a while, progress starts to slow down. So the second reason we're gonna rotate through exercises is to avoid plateaus. And the third reason is simply to keep things interesting. All right, when you're doing the same exercise for a while, it can kind of get boring. You don't look forward to going to the gym anymore. So we're gonna keep things interesting by rotating our exercises. Now, how often should we do it? Now, in some programs, in some training philosophies, they tell you to rotate exercises as often as once a week or even once every two weeks. And in other philosophies, they tell you not to rotate your exercises at all for, for years. I disagree with both these things. I believe that you should rotate your exercises minimum for one month, all right? So stick with an exercise for minimum one month and then rotate it. You don't want to uh, stick with it for too long and you don't want to do it for, for too short a period of time either. The one month is going to allow for adequate adaptation, okay? You're going to be able to run through a full exercise and fully specialize in an exercise for a full cycle. That way you can really reach your potential of that cycle with, with hitting the 10 rep max, your 8 rep max, your 6 rep max. And the reason <clears throat> it's one month and not like one week or two weeks is because usually the first week of doing an exercise is usually dedicated to form anyways, right? So changing it after one week seems kind of pointless. You get your form down, then you're going to switch it out right away. No, you're going to get your form down, then you're going to use that form that you got down to hit maxes throughout the next three weeks, then you're going to switch your exercise, all right? Now, so that's why we do it. That's how often we do it. Now here is a sample of how it's done. This example, so just like every other example I do, we're using the bench press and the chest as the, uh, the muscle group and the main movement is bench press, right? So I'm using bench press and chest, but guys, this is for every single muscle group and uh, every movement that you're gonna do it with, all right? So this is what the six month uh, timeline of this exercise rotation cycle looks like. So you're going to pick one main movement to focus on for each muscle group. So for the chest, obviously it's going to be the bench press, right? Now that bench press is going to be the main movement that you're trying to grow throughout the six months. And it's going to be the movement that you always come back to, uh, throughout the cycles. All right. So as you can see, we're doing bench press month one, month three, and month five there, right? So you're always coming back to your main movement every second month. Now, in the months in between, you see that we're not doing bench press. Well, what are we doing? That's where we're rotating the exercises, okay? So month one is bench press. Month two, we're gonna switch to a movement that's gonna work the same muscles and build the same strength in the same muscles, which is the weighted dips, right? So it's a, it's a heavy pressing movement, just like the bench press. So we're, we're rotating the bench press to weighted dips. Then we're gonna come back to the bench press after we're done weighted dips. Very simple. After we're done the next cycle of bench press in month three, 
For month four, we're gonna switch and go to a dumbbell bench press. Again, rotating our exercise, doing a full month cycle of the dumbbell bench press. When we're done that month, guess what? We're coming back to the bench press again, and uh, uh, we're gonna do a full month cycle of that. Once that's done, we're gonna switch out to weighted push-ups for a full month cycle. So as you can see, we're always coming back to our main movement that we selected. We're always gonna be building up the bench press, but in order to avoid overuse injuries, avoid plateaus and keep things interesting, we're gonna be switching every second month to an exercise that's gonna work the same muscles and build, this, build muscle and strengthen the same muscles. Weighted dips, dumbbell bench press, weighted push-ups. Those are gonna build muscles and strength in the same uh, areas as the bench press, right? So you're rotating through those exercises to avoid the overuse injuries and the plateaus. And then once you're done with this cycle here, the weighted dips, you're gonna come back to the bench press. So the weighted dips, uh, the dumbbell bench press and weighted push-ups is gonna allow you to build strength, which is gonna carry over to the bench press, right? That's why we're switching to that. It's gonna carry over. So we're not just doing bench press back to back to back to back, because chances are, if you did bench press for three months in a row, you probably plateau somewhere in between month two and three. So we're gonna rotate to an exercise that's gonna work the same muscles and build strength in the same muscles that's gonna carry over to our main movement. Very simple, guys. You do the same with, with quads for, uh, for uh, let's say your main movement was back squats, right? For quads, just regular back squats. So instead of bench press, it would be back squats here. Month two, you do, you'd rotate to front squats, then you'd go back to back squats. Month three, maybe you'd go, or month four, sorry, maybe you'd go to leg press, then you'd come back to the regular back squats. Month six, maybe you'd go to Bulgarian split squats. Then, right, so it's very simple. You're picking one main exercise that you're gonna focus on, and you're coming back to that every second month, right? And in between, you're picking an exercise that's gonna work the same muscles, and build strength that's going to carry over to that main movement. Very simple. It's a very effective way. And using that, that four-week cycle that I had in my last video, and you apply that to, uh, to a six-month schedule like that where you're rotating exercises, your strength is just going to shoot up like crazy. Now, if you find yourself like doing really good in bench press, for example, and you feel like you could keep making a lot of progress even in month two, Stick, her, stick with it for two months and then rotate it out in the third month, right? Um, and then same thing. So instead of one month on, one month off, it would be two months on with the bench press then one month off. Two months on, one month off. You get it? So very simple, but this is the importance of rotating exercises. Again, you want to avoid overuse injuries, avoid plateaus and keep things interesting. And rotating your exercises like this allows you to build strength and muscle in the same the same muscle groups so it carries over to your main lifts so that's what we're going to do guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you got some value from it like comment subscribe more videos to come